y'all it's me dairy diamond i'm back with another video so today i am going to be reviewing the nayana wig now this isn't the nayana wig here she is right here on my lap in a color t1b350 so this is her it's a it's a copper wig you know um Last video, I just, I came on here with the wig right on my head, and I'm like, well, maybe they wanted to see the inside of the wig for themselves instead of you telling them. So, here she is. I'm, I'm going to put her on. Here she is. She has two combs in the front, uh, one comb in the back with the two little adjustable bra strap elastic band things and whatnot. And um, I only wore this wig a, a handful of times. You know what I'm saying? I like her, but I just kind of want y'all to be able to see the color real quick. And I'm about to put her on. But before I put her on, I know some of y'all probably wondering what wig this is. This is the wig I just reviewed yesterday. The Butter the butter Unit 3. The Butter Lace Wigs. The Butter Unit 3. This wig I got on is her. Remember in my last video that I filmed yesterday, I told y'all I had her in this color. This is the wig, but... I didn't do a review on this one simply because I changed the curl pattern. I fixed the wig up or whatever. So I there was no point because, you know, it's not what you see right here is not how the wig comes. It comes curly like a curly wave like her. But this is her, y'all, the butter unit. This is the butter unit. But, you know, I'm coming up here to do the, the Nayana unit or whatever. So I'm about to take this one off and then put this one put this one on. So, this is the Nayana wig. Now, first thing first I want to say about this wig is I love the color. It's cute, especially if you love, like, bright colors because this is a copper color. This is a copper color. I mean, on the card, it's not called the copper. It's called T1B350 or whatever. And, um, actually, y'all know y'all see that. I like, I actually like the black better. Like, obviously, this color is pretty, but the black looks like a lot like human hair you you get what i'm saying but i mean it they all look nice you know what i'm saying but um yeah so this is her now once again if y'all watch my other video y'all see me say i don't like a bunch of hair overpowering my face like my whole life i've never been a middle part girl you know what i'm saying i'm not like knocking it or anything it's just for my face you know what i'm saying i just personally don't like it. i always been like this kind of girl like a side part flip over girl that's the lace y'all see right there or whatever and now that's one thing i need to know about me i don't glue none of my synthetic wigs down i don't got to respray them i don't it, put nothing on them to lay them down if i want to lay them down i just i sew in my own elastic adjust the, my own elastic band in it that just kind of help lay the lace down and to be honest a lot of times it it lays down this part it lays down this part so you can't tell but when I sew in my own adjustable elastic band to keep the wig down, it only holds down this part, so you can't really, I didn't sew one in here. It only holds down this part, so you can't tell, but the flaps still be all flappy. So that's the only, that's my only thing. And to be, I don't sleep with my synthetic wigs on or anything like that, because why would I, you know, I don't see the point of doing that. You know what I'm saying? But I like this color it's cute i had this wig since i want to say about it it's been since december it's february now i had this wig for a, a good minute now but once again i only wore it like a handful of times i literally didn't wear this wig no more than five times that's why i still look like fresh on camera right now i still look kind of fresh because I, I barely ever wear it you know, this ain't like my everyday wig, but I do like it. You know, I do like it. But once again, I'm not really a middle part person. But if you're a middle part person and you love your middle parts, this is going to be perfect for you. Because honestly, this middle part is like, in my opinion, defined, I guess what you want to call it. It's like defined. And to be honest, I am going to sew my uh, elastic band in this wig because I don't like how it's sliding. And, and my braids, my braids is loose. My 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 wig braids under here is kind of loose. They're like two weeks old now or whatever. But here she is to the front. This ain't all of it. It has like more going around in the back. Like, you know, it actually gets longer. I don't know how much y'all able to see on the camera. I can't see and then this is her like to the back if you just chilling 
you know mm -hmm. so this this is her but once again like i said y'all know i don't like hair overpowering my face so what i do is where that little piece go that i had cut into this wig like a little piece like that take out a little piece you know what i'm saying and then put the rest behind my ear and not only do I just sit it behind my ear, I actually pin it with a bobby pin or two. I actually do like two bobby pins per side, honestly. So let me do that right now. Or whatever. I do like two bobby pins per side. And then I like let it flow. Like I like that a billion percent million times better because I just do. Because <laughs> I just don't like... That's why I'm not a middle part person, y'all, because I don't like hair overpowering my face. Like, all of this, I don't like this. I don't like that, because when I look to the side, oh, I see my hair. I like to be able to see everything on my side of me. Not not saying it. Shut up, Dariana. But, um, <laughs> y'all get what I mean, dang it. And then I'll take, like, another piece. And being that I only worn this wig a handful of times once again, one time I wore it in a ponytail with a headband or whatever. But this is my little uh, hair bow drawer that I'm going through. I'm actually getting more bobby pins. Being that I only wore this wig a handful of times, like I said. I don't, um, I, this is actually my first time doing this whole bobby pin pullback thing. Like, I've never done the bobby pin pullback thing ever, ever. So y'all, this is my first time doing the bobby pin pullback thing that y'all see me doing right now. Pinning back some because I don't like the front of the hair all in my face. Wait a minute now. Okay. And, you know. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so yeah, this is more of my style right here. And then whenever like the, I don't want to want you to be able to see the lace, but I don't, well, you can't really see the lace for right here, but whenever I don't like do my baby hairs on my lace front wigs, this whole pin back thing, y'all just seen me do two bobby pins on each side, pull back the front of the front part of the hair or whatever, and bobby pin into the back. That's my go-to because whenever I don't want the lace and stuff to be seen, because listen, I don't, I, every time I try to do my baby hairs on a synthetic lace front wig or any wig for that matter, it always comes out like weird. So when you like kind of lay the hair over the lace like that, you really can't even tell. Your only concern is making the wig not slide back so you can't see like your real hair under it or whatever and the lace sliding from it looking crazy. I'm just kind of fluffing it just in case you can see any tracks. But for the most part, y'all. I swear y'all, literally at this moment on camera, in front of y'all, this is my first time actually really like wearing a wig. Like I know it's it's a cute wig. The color is cute. Ooh, I wish they made uh these made. I wish they made this wig. Whatever colors they have in it, ooh, start with the actual color. Forget the black roots, the dark roots. No, no. Just make the whole wig whatever color it is so if this was a 613 forget putting the blonde at the top i mean the black at the top just make the whole thing a 613 now that's what would make me really fall in love with a middle part i could rock a middle part wig if it if it's you know if i just feel if i'm feeling a vibe put it like that like right now now that i pin all that excess front hair now that i pinned it back i'm i'm feeling the vibe like now i'm really really feeling the vibe because before, before y'all, I just would wear it like this sometimes, and I didn't, you know, I wasn't, I'm not a middle part person, once again, so I wasn't really feeling a vibe, but now, I'm feeling every single vibe in this world, all the good ones, <laughs> to be specific, but, um, yes, now I like it, like, that's crazy, it took for me to get on camera and try out my infamous pin back style, for me to really like this wig. No, don't get it twisted. I'm not saying it's not a good wig or a cute wig. This is a cute wig. I, I might try the black one. But I already got a wig that looked like this. And that's the wig you just seen me. The butter lace wig. Um, The one that I did yesterday looks like this kind. Except the lace looks more real. And the curl pattern is just a tiny bit different. But 
I might get this same wig in black, honestly, because I am now that I'm actually playing around with it and stuff on camera. I'm really feeling this vibe right now. Like looking in the mirror, I'm really like feeling cute about this wig and whatnot. I'm, I'm definitely messing with the vibe of this wig, no lie. Now, like I really feel like just hopping up right now and hopping on 85 South and going to Atlanta in this wig or somewhere fun or 77 South and going to Miami, dang it. Like, I'm, yo, these wigs, bro, let me tell y'all, like, bro, this summer is going to be the sexiest summer ever. Like, because for one, they're making their wigs more natural. You know what I'm saying? They're making their wigs more natural. As far as the texture, as y'all can see, it's not a yakky texture or anything. It's a basic you know, a basic silk texture and whatnot. Um, as far as tangling, it tangles like every other synthetic wig. You just got to know how to maintain them. Like me personally, like, okay, for example, I don't, I, y'all probably can't see this that well, but here's a, a little tangle. So what I do is whenever I have a tangle, I take my scissors and I, I like, don't close it all the way. I just kind of, let me try to turn it so y'all can see it a little bit. Y'all see how I'm just like going up and down, back and forth like that? And then I cut it off like that. You know what I'm saying? But I am, like, that's crazy. I feel, y'all, I have not worn this wig in like two months. I have not worn this wig. I wore this wig the first month I got it, like four or five times or whatever. And now here we are two months later. And I'm, I'm like, let me just do a review for them so they can see the wig or whatever. And now here I am <laughs> liking this wig. Like, it was okay to me before because I didn't think to do my pinback style how I got it now. Once again, I don't like hair in my face. I don't like too much hair just in my face. Now, I love big curly hair. I love big curly hair. I love big wavy hair. But only when I can flip it over. If I got a middle part like this, it's kind of hard to do the whole flip over. You know how you could just flip your hair over? Because being that it's a middle part, it makes it come back down sometimes. But I love big curly wavy hair. I love all big hair. I just don't like it when it's in the middle part. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a middle part, but this is pretty curls. I'm kind of getting closer. Like I said, I had this wig for uh, for like two months now. I wore it like five, four, five times. But y'all can still get the gist of it and see the pattern. And if y'all really want to get the gist of it, y'all can look at her because she's definitely wearing it pretty well or whatever. And yeah so this is this is her this is all of it pulled to the front y'all no one wears their wigs all some do like if you're sitting in a car but this is her all to the front i love this color this pretty copper color once again it's a t1b350 and or whatever and back to that wig real quick just to briefly touch on it that y'all see me just wearing in the beginning of this video like i said i was going to do a review for that but I changed the curl pattern or whatever, but y'all see how pretty that color is. It's a four, and then it like blends into that 30 hazel color or whatever it's called. And I might just buy another one of them and not alter it at all just so I can show y'all and just so I can have an excuse to get the same wig twice, even though I don't need to. But I mean, I like, I like that wig. I rock with it or whatever. Two is one, one is none. So yeah, if you're a middle part girl, I could ramble on for days talking about wigs. I love wigs. I'm like obsessed with wigs. But honestly, like I said, I might go back for this one in this color or a jet black. You know what I'm saying? Because jet black has really been growing on me these past few days. The wig review that I just did yesterday was a jet black, a number one. Because I'm a one being two kind of girl, but they didn't have them or whatever. So um, I just went with a number one in that other wig that I reviewed yesterday or whatever but yeah that's so freaking crazy to me now when i finally put this wig on two months later for y'all right now i actually really like this wig and i can't believe i just been letting it sit in my closet hung up because all my wigs just hung up in my closet you see how they come with these little hooks these little hooks i literally just hang them in my closet just like that in their own little corner and i'm about to get more more wigs i don't know how the heck i'm gonna fit all of those in there but if there's a will, there's a way. Yes. Mm-hmm. Won't he do it? Okay. So, yeah, y'all see. Okay, for example, I just want to come close. Y'all probably won't be able to see it, but I'm going to come close. You see how you can see, like, 
the wig pushing back my real hair like my real hair is poked out right here but the wig is making it like push back like that for example that's why I'm going to sew my uh, elastic band in this one. And I'm so mad I've just been letting it sit in my closet because I really like this wig now. Now that I pulled it back to my liking and got all that hair out my face. See, I could do middle part wigs as long as I'm able to do my pullback thing how I got it right now. Behind my ears and then hair hanging over it. So when I look over or whatever the case may be, it's not just, you know what I'm saying? It's not just exactly like it's to my liking like this is to my liking and when i tell y'all like yo they making these wigs look real nice this isn't like a um a butter lace you know how they coming up with the new synthetic wigs the butter lace extra uh pre-pluck parting and all of that and what's the other lace they got what lace synthetic wig this ain't one of those but you know, it looks all right. They actually I, they did a pretty good job with the part or whatever. It looks fine. And if you want to make it blend in more, of course, you got to add your your uh, facial makeup in it. The finish. Well, not, I was about to say, yeah, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> the, your foundation or your concealer. I think I already did that when I first got this wig. I can't remember. But, um, no, actually, y'all, no, I didn't. I didn't add nothing in this wig at all. Um what you see right here is exactly how it's going to look and to be honest my hair is not parted my hair ain't parted this way underneath with my wig braids so the parting kind of already has a natural color to it because my hair is jet black not jet black but a 1b underneath here so you really don't even gotta put no concealer on the part like this actually looks really natural to me but i you you still can to take extra precaution or whatever but I'm so mad. This wig been sitting in my closet like that that whole time. I like it. It might look a little shaggy or whatever because once again I had it for two months and I wore it like five. I only wore it like five times though within the same one I bought it and whatnot. And I always advise if you want the curls to look bigger, don't run your fingers through them. I always separate my curls on my synthetic wigs like this. Like I literally just pull them apart like with my fingers. Though, there's no reason for you to brush your comb curly or wavy, you know, hair, brush out the curls. But it's funny how it just took me to do this review to really fall in love with this wig and try the whole pullback thing because I'm loving it. You know what I'm saying? I'm really loving it. Um, That's crazy. I can't believe she just been sitting. So I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be wearing, this might be like one of my go-to everyday wigs now especially once I sew that elastic band in because when your wig braids is like um old like they're like two weeks old they get loose in the front so the combs can't really secure down because my wig braids is loose so I'm definitely gonna go buy me I'm looking in the mirror but um I'm definitely gonna go buy me an elastic band to keep it from sliding back how it keeps sliding back or whatever and I'm gonna sew it in or whatever and whatnot so I'm, I'm really digging it I'm really really digging this wig I really am and also before we end this review hold on um I'm, I'm gonna mention that later but also before we end this review I just wanted to uh say that I'm also going to be making like natural hair videos and different things like that um especially for a simple simple natural hair stuff like everything let me just say this everything you do with your natural hair doesn't have to be so such this process and it really don't it really doesn't even have to be that hard my hair still grows and i don't even really do too much to it and that's the secret to black hair leave it alone like black hair loves to be left alone i cannot stress that enough like I noticed when I went, I'm going to go into that in my natural hair video because I'm before I know it, I'm going to end up talking about it and then this video is going to be an extra 38 minutes long. So I don't really don't want to keep y'all too long, but this is Nayana. I love this wig. I'll probably wake up tomorrow, go to the hair store and get me this wig in a 1B or a 1. Oh, I like jet black hair now. I'll probably go to the hair store and get me this in a number one. And I like a number four. I love a light brown hair. Probably get this in a number four. Ooh, they also, I'm looking on the back. They got her in a 99J. They got her in a 613. 
a 99 oh so a 613 might fully be this the way y'all you know it might the 613 might be completely blonde without black roots a 99j uh t1b27 so the roots black and then it goes into a 27 y'all kind of like this black and then the color the t1b30 so they got her in the 30 as well and i was gonna get her in the 30 because i love 30 the wig i just had on basically was a 30 i love a 30 that's my favorite kind of blonde a 30 because it kind of go it just it looks nice it goes with any anyone's color um what else a 350 that's this one the t1b 350 is this wig that y'all see this is a copper color i'm just going to sum it up and say a copper and then they got a t1b bg so that must be like a light red or something might try that one too but i like this this is a simple throw on and go a simple throw on and go wig honestly this is a simple if you really want to be technical to me this is a beach wig. I know once it, I'm not going to keep saying that the wig is sliding back because <laughs> I told y'all that already. But if you really ask me, this is a, a beach wig. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really feeling the beach vibes. The wig I just took off, the blonde wig y'all just seen me in, that's a beach vibe. The wig review I did yesterday, the, uh, the black one, that's a beach vibe all curly and wavy hair is such a beach vibe especially a lace you know what i'm saying you ain't gotta worry about getting your real hair wet either what like i'm really getting beach vibes from her right now just summer period especially with this color you just on the beach ah, i want to go to miami right now this wig is just inspiring me so much but um yes i like this wig that's just the moral of the story to sum it up i really do like this wig um now, uh, just to kind of say this as well, I don't really like when, um, like, okay, I like the wig, obviously, but you see how this is not my natural hair color, and it's a, a ombre or whatever. If I wanted to put this up in a, a ponytail, like up here, for example, of course I would have to glue the lace down or whatever, or spray the lace down to make it lay put my ponytail like right here but I mean it's obvious like the back is gonna show so much you know what I'm saying like it's gonna show and being that this is a copper color wig obviously I won't be able to pull my natural hair out and then put it up in a ponytail now if this was a black wig I'll I'd probably be able to get away with it you know throwing some quick little tight curls in my my natural hair and then uh, leaving out the back and then putting it up in some kind of ponytail up here. I don't know. I might try it someday if I go back for the black one. But I like this one. I really do because it's like a simple go, throw on and go middle part wig. It's so simple. Like I love, 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 love me a simple, uh, just a simple wig, period. I'm a simple wig girl. Like right now, go to the grocery store, throw this on, pin back the sides, how y'all see how y'all see me have it right now, what y'all see right now. Why can't I talk right now? Um, how y'all see right now and go. Quick middle part, throw on and go wig. Throw on and go party wig. This wig is just so flipping cute. I love her so much. And like I said, I might go back for another one. But yeah, I'm definitely that I'm loving this or whatever. And so yeah, this is that's that's the review for the Empress Lace Wig by Sensational. Once again, her name is Nayana and whatnot. Um, yeah, that's her. So I'll probably try to link the the, uh, the wig in the description box. And I actually got to go back on a video I filmed yesterday and give y'all a few different links to the wig if y'all want to order it offline or can't find it in the beauty supply store. But let me tell y'all a quick tip. Um, I noticed the hair stores around here that don't get that much, like, like let's say they in the cut that too many people don't know about. They usually have all the, the synthetic wigs that we see that get sold out online that everyone wants. They usually have them. Like, out here in Charlotte, the, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I went to this hair store in Independence and they had all the wigs. I'm like, 
I've never been back here before and it don't look like too many other people come back. Yeah, so if you can't find a wig online that everyone done gathered up because it's so popular, um, I suggest you go to the less popular hair store. So go to a hair store you've never been to before or if you're riding around your city, go to the hair store that that you might see in a cut or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So that's my tip if you can't find a, a wig online. But I really like this one. And between this one and the black one I had on yesterday, they look very similar, actually. Except the black one I had yesterday, the lace is actually softer than this. This ain't like no hard lace. But it, it it's, it's like a kind of like a stiff little lace, just a little bit. But it's regular material. Um... Between this wig and the one I had on yesterday, well, this color is kind of making me really like this one a lot, but I would probably choose, I don't know, you know, they're both middle parts. I have no idea or whatever, but I do notice with the wig I did yesterday, the ear to ear tabs are normal, but the part kind of seemed like to the side a little bit, like to the side of my face, just a little bit, but, um, I don't know. I like them both. But I, I definitely recommend this wig, especially in this copper color, honey. I'm feeling every vibe. Look, the, the best good vibes from this wig. I really love this wig a lot. And once again, as an additional tip, I suggest putting in an elastic band. Sewing in your own elastic band from the ear to ear things. Like from ear to ear. Measure your head from ear to ear sew it on and so it'll lay the wig down firm so it ain't no bunch of sliding i tried the wig grip i tried the wig grip but it didn't um it didn't help wig grips don't help for some reason with lace wigs i could be wrong though but yes y'all so stay tuned like i said on my channel i'm gonna have so many videos i'm gonna have synthetic wig reviews might even do human human wig reviews i don't know human hair wig reviews i don't know yet because I, right now, I don't own any human hair because I don't need to. Once again, I came up with a system that allows me to keep restoring my synthetic hair over and over and over. And I'm not talking about laundry detergent, how people be using fabric. So I'm not talking about that. I came up with my own system that I will be sharing with y'all very soon. I didn't put it on this hair. That's why, I, as you can see, it kind of just looked a little raggedy or whatever. Not really raggedy, but a little. you could tell I've been wearing it a few times or whatever. But... You know what I'm saying? So, who knows? I might do a human hair wig review. Um, but I'm definitely going to be talking about my, like, natural hair care. Just give me y'all quick, easy, simple tips. I might do that tomorrow. Who knows? Um, just a bunch of beauty stuff. Put it like that. Just a bunch of beauty stuff. Period. You know what I'm saying? But, yes, y'all. Until next time, I will see y'all tomorrow.